Greetings Fright fans and welcome in to day 30 of our Halloween countdown. The, it's Halloween Eve, the day before Halloween today. So man, this has been a fun countdown. I hope you all have had fun with this countdown. I'm counting them down with, down with me and Skelly here. Uh, we've had a good time here and I hope you have too, as I said. So um, yeah, yesterday we looked at the film Mimic, which uh, uh, yeah, human shaped big bugs. You gotta love that. What are we going to look at tonight? Well, here we go. Reach in here, just a couple left. What's it going to be? Tonight's movie is another newer film and one that I have never seen before this. First time watch, it is Creepy Crawlers. A surgeon named Ben, played by Thomas Calibro, is given a leave of absence from a Boston Medical Center after being shaky in a surgery. He goes to Cisco Bay, Maine to clear his head at a small fixer-upper place he bought there. In a prologue, we see a ship in the Atlantic where passengers duct tape a man's hands, feet, and mouth shut and toss him overboard. The man's body washes up on the island's shore where something eats through the tape over his mouth. Some of the locals on the island don't take too kindly to Ben's presence, especially Jack, whose family used to own the house that Ben bought. He begins harassing Ben and making his life difficult. The town sheriff, played by Dean Stockwell, asks Ben to help when a corpse is found on the island. Giant roaches start appearing, followed by bodies of raccoons and animals. People on the island start turning up dead and it turns out the bugs are responsible. They begin to mutate and grow wings. Can the remaining townsfolk survive this deadly threat by the now flying horde of insects? Also known as They Nest, this is not a bad movie at all. It's got mixed effects. Some real bugs, some fake, and some not so great CGI. This was made in 2000, so it was the early days of CGI. There's a love interest with Ben and the town hottie Nell, and a subplot of Ben being blamed for the death of Jack. But it's the bugs that are to blame. Ultimately, the story really doesn't have much resolution, but it's still worth a watch for Dean Stockwell alone. I appreciate your concern, Doc. Yeah, creepy crawlers. You know, um, I, this is not one that I would have initially thought about including, but the only reason why I did is because I found this VHS right after I decided on the theme of this. I was binging movies, and I found this VHS, and it said creepy crawlers, and I thought, you know what? It turned up at our local, at the Great Escape, one of our local comic book shop, and I was like, it's meant to be. This is going to be included. And the title for our Creepy Crawlies countdown is too good. So, Creepy Crawlers, aka The Nest. Um, yeah, had to get that one in there. So, yeah, Creepy Crawlers. Uh, again, like I said in the review, worth watching for the Dean Stockwell uh, small part alone. I, you know, gotta love Dean Stockwell. So, uh, yeah, I will give this one. Yeah, I guess about, it's about three. You could go two, but it, yeah, it's it, it's better than Monster from Green Hill. <laughs> That's going to become my um, litmus test. Is it better than Monster from Green Hill? Because, yeah, most things are. All right, Fright fans, that's it for tonight. Be sure to join me back here tomorrow night for Halloween night. What's our movie going to be? Tune in tomorrow night and find out. Until then, this is Dr. Gangreen saying, stay mad.